Most people live their entire lives terrified of failure. But the truth is, failure is not something to be feared, it's something to be mastered. The art of failing well is a skill that can be learned, and it's a crucial one if you want to achieve greatness. In this lecture, we'll explore the Stoic philosophy and how it can help you turn failure into a catalyst for success. Chapter 1. Failure is not the enemy, but a teacher. In a society that glorifies success and demonizes failure, many believe that failure is the ultimate enemy. But what if I told you that failure is not an obstacle, but rather a teacher? Every setback, every misstep, offers invaluable lessons that success can never provide. The Stoics understood this deeply. They saw failure as an opportunity to reflect, adapt, and grow. Instead of allowing the fear of failure to paralyze you, embrace it as a mentor. Each failure exposes your weaknesses and challenges your beliefs, forcing you to confront what needs to change. This process offers a chance for a profound personal transformation. Take the story of Thomas Edison, who famously said he had not failed, but found 10,000 ways that won't work. His failures fueled his persistence and innovation. Remember, the most formidable adversary is not failure, but the unwillingness to learn from it. So, redefine your narrative. Failure is a stepping stone to wisdom and resilience. Chapter 2. The Paradox of Control What you can and can't control in life. Understanding the paradox of control is vital for mastering our responses to failure. The Stoics teach us to distinguish between what is within our controller actions, thoughts, and responses and what is no external events and the actions of others. This is where many falter. They waste energy fretting over factors they cannot influence. Consider this. You can control your preparation and effort, but not the outcome of a situation. When faced with failure, instead of lamenting over external circumstances, focus your energy on self-reflection and growth. Acceptance is the key. By acknowledging the limits of your control, you free yourself from unnecessary anxiety and disappoint. This profound shift in perspective enables you to respond with resilience. When setbacks occur, you assess what you can learn and improve upon. Remember, true power lies not in control over the world external to us, but in mastering our own thoughts and actions. Embrace this paradox, and you will find clarity in chaos. Chapter 3 the dangers of external validation. In a world where social media reigns supreme, the lure of external validation can be intoxicating. We tirelessly seek likes, shares, and approval from others, believing these are the markers of our self-worth. But this pursuit can become dangerously addictive, leading to a fragile sense of identity that hinges on the opinions of others. The Stoics warned against this peril, emphasizing that our value should stem from within, not from external sources. When we tie our self-esteem to others' validation, we subject ourselves to a constant roller coaster of disappointment and approval. Each rejection feels magnified. Each compliment becomes a fleeting high. True strength lies in self-reflection and internal validation. Acknowledging your own worth without the need for others to affirm it, cultivates resilience. By grounding your sense of self in personal values and achievements, you reclaim your power. Embrace failure and setbacks as part of your journey without allowing external judgments to define you. Remember, the only approval you truly need is from yourself. Chapter 4 Turning failure into fuel for success. Failure can feel like a dead end, but what if you viewed it as the fuel for your success? Every setback, every misstep offers you invaluable data if you choose to analyze it. Instead of wallowing in despair, harness your failures to ignite your growth. The Stoics believed in reflecting on failures to extract wisdom. Consider a time you stumbled 
what lessons emerge. This mindset shift transforms the narrative around failure. Each experience teaches resilience, adaptability, and innovation. It encourages you to take risks, knowing that the greatest breakthroughs often arise from the ashes of failure. Remember, Thomas Edison failed thousands of times before inventing the light bulb. Dot. Each attempt armed him with insight to turn failures into fuel, practice, reflection. Ask yourself what you can adjust next time. Develop a fail-forward mentality. Focus on progress rather than perfection. Embrace failure as an integral part of your journey. By doing so, you not only become stronger, but also inspire others to perceive failure not as an end but as a stepping stone to greatness. Conclusion, the Stoic's Guide to Learning from Failure. In closing, embracing failure is not just a Stoic lesson. It is a transformative approach to life itself. The Stoics understood that failure is an inevitable part of the human experience, offering profound insights and opportunities for growth. Every setback can illuminate what must be learned allowing us to evolve and adapt. Instead of viewing failure with fear, we should adopt a mindset that seeks to extract value from every experience. Reflect on your missteps and ask yourself what wisdom lies within them. This practice fosters resilience and nurtures a spirit of continuous improvement. Remember, historical figures we admire, from philosophers to inventors, often encountered failure on their journey to success. It is this very struggle that builds character and grit. So, do not shy away from failure. Lean into it. Use it as a compass, guiding you toward your true potential. By internalizing these stoic teachings, you will learn to navigate life's challenges with grace, confidence, and an unwavering resolve to succeed.